I'm back to bees. That was so bad. I'm not gonna use this. Okay, wow, it's been a while since I've talked into a camera. It feels a little weird. And young doobies. So I'm back from my two month trip. I went to London and then I was in Italy for a month and I finished off with Copenhagen and that was like very unexpected. A lot has happened which i have not updated you guys i've been really bad about posting the vlogs because i needed some time to get away to reflect on my personal life i was definitely not that happy in december and january and was literally fighting demons and I knew that if I wanted to do this for a long time, it was really important for me to take some time off. A feeling that I was really struggling with before I left for my trip was that somebody was trying to catch up to me or someone's trying to like pull me down. Like I felt like I was comparing myself with everyone and I was really not happy. Even though I was doing really well for myself and I was proud of all the things I've done, I could never be satisfied and I was really miserable and I was looking for the next thing to chase. So I'm really, really glad I took some time off because now I'm in a much better headspace and I'm excited to make videos and I'm excited to be back home. I'm excited to cook as well. So a little life update. Um, I did not get back with my ex-boyfriend. Things didn't really work out. I realized that um, I wasn't super happy with him. I was comfortable and content and i probably would have been just you know enjoying a very comfy life if i was with him for the rest of my life um i could see how it would pan out but i didn't really want that for myself it was just not something i truly wanted and wanted to fight for you know but it happens um yeah this is not a coffee tutorial. Go to James Hoffman for that. This is just me struggling to understand my my baby. I feel like an archaeologist. Definitely not a food safe way to clean your bubble, but you know. Yeah, that that's absolutely nothing. I thought it would just suck up everything, but it did not. That's better. Sounds about right. Mm. Cashew nut and dark chocolate notes. I know you're not supposed to like fill it up the entire way because the beans get stale, but you know, I'm a busy woman. Now I have this mess to take care of, which I will do now.
been in the gym in like two months and I've just been subsisting off of pasta and pizza so I am a piece of shit but it's all about getting back into a routine I'm just gonna continuously come so that continuously come I'm just really trying to incorporate it into my routine even though I might be like shit for the first month. I don't know. I hate working out. Oh my god. My PO blank skills are great. I hope you find this peaceful. Please excuse me. You know what instrument peas know how to play the best? Piano. I have no friends.
So a very staple Korean school food item is ghee rice, um, wandu kumbap, and I freaking hated it with a burning passion because the peas, like it would be really, um, it wouldn't be green, it would be like grayish green because it would be overcooked. Obviously they're cooking for like 500 kids, so they batch make it without much love i mean you can't complain though because i mean compared to american school food it's just horrible like at least it was nutritious but i used to hate it like i would pick out all the peas so our teacher wouldn't let us leave if we didn't finish everything on our plate because she didn't want us to be like wasteful and like be a picky eater which you know, uh, a couple of human rights issues, but I'm glad I went through it, to be honest. The issue is like they put the peas from the very beginning. These really don't take that much time and heat to cook. Like you just have to really steam it very, very briefly because they're so like juicy and sweet already as is. So I like to put it when the rice is almost done and in the steaming stage. Like the residual steam itself is good enough to cook the peas. I like peas now. To be such a picky eater.
way too much I'm gonna tell you all the things I don't love about it first I don't like how it's a little pale on the side if I did put some egg wash on it it would have been really nice and golden brown just like you I do not like how it's unevenly puffed bake it at a high heat so that the puff pastry puffs up and it's even and then you kind of like bring the heat down and slowly bake it Third, I put some black pepper on top. It kind of looks like soot. Puff pastry to sauces ratio is a little off. It does hold by itself and the bottom is really nice and golden brown. I want the sausage to be kind of nestled in, like in a sleeping bag. Right now, it's like barely holding on to it. It's, it smells amazing though. Again, I think doing two layers of the puff pastry on the bottom will make it a lot better. So I'll be trying these again in my next vlog. And um, when it's ready, I'll put the recipe up. I'm still really good. Oh my God, Eugene. It's so pretty, I want to smash it. 